Good morning. It's Shannon with Pick and Booze Vintage and coming to you live for Technique Tuesday. I've got a lot of information to share with you today. Um, I'm going live on both Facebook and Instagram, so please bear with me. I might be looking at both cameras. <clears throat> anyway, thank you for joining me. Um, <laughs> I don't know where to start. Okay, anyway, good news. My husband was able to get a haircut today. It's the first time in like eight weeks. <laughs> anyway, if you know my husband, he's always high and tight, so it looks really good. Okay, so I'm going to start here. Yesterday, I got this awesome shipment of great new lovelies um, all the way from across the pond. I've announced it on my Facebook page and on the store but look I'm gonna open it up ta-da all the would you bins finally came in these are the, the uh, trim to put around something and there's these little decorative pieces that you can put on a dresser some molding it really dresses them up if you watch my live video um, would you bend you'll know that they're right now they're really hard but when you use a blow dryer or a heat gun heat them up a little bit and they become very pliable put a little wood glue and then you can stick them on anything and then you paint over them and they are just awesome Okay, so I just want to show you a few of the designs that I did get. Wow, look at this nice little corbel. This will look awesome on a plain, boring dresser, buffet. Just stick it on. And look at these, how cute is this little guy? These are little, um, I guess you call it Pegasus. They're horses with wings. Not for everybody, but on the right project, it'd be really cute. Okay. And then I also have, let's see what these are. Um, doo, 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 doo. Oh, look at this. For all you little gnome people, this is a little gnome. You can stick on a project. How cute is that? Oh, and then, then we have the left and the right. These are little scrolls. These would be very cute. Uh, and if you're making a frame, if you're making a chalkboard, so many different, oops, so many different options. Sorry, I'm trying to be on two screens with Instagram and Facebook. Okay, so let's see. Here's a few more. Here's another decorative trim. Beautiful. Anyway, I've got several different shapes, sizes. They are all available on our website, uh, pbvintage.com. You can go ahead and order those and we can get them curbside ready for you. Um, I'm going to stick these to the side. And then I'm going to share some other information with you. I can't wait to unload these and get them out. Oh. Like I said, I've got several different designs, decorations. Christine, I do have your dream catcher on hold for you. Okay, so if you saw the picture previewing that I was going to be doing the live, you saw the chairs. Yes, you can paint fabric. Um, it's simple and it makes a huge, huge change in the chair without having to rip all the fabric off, do all that work and put new fabric on, etc. Um, I've painted several pieces with fabric. I think the first one we did live was uh, almost a year ago, May, a uh, year. Four years ago May 2016 and it's on our Facebook page if you scroll way back you can see the video I was videoing Liz as she was doing it and I believe she was using the Amy Howard paint back then okay so here is the chair um, I'm gonna scoot it over a little bit because our Instagram screen isn't really capturing it there we go how's that um, here is the beautiful chair. You'll notice that there is a slight nap in the fabric. That's okay, because we're not essentially painting the fabric. We are going to dye or stain the fabric. 
So the trick to doing that is, is you're going to use water. You can do this several different ways. You can either spray the fabric ahead of time with some water and then paint on with the paint. Or if you're a messy painter like I am, you want to go ahead and mix water and the paint together. Now, I recommend doing the fabric before you do the rest of the project because it gets really, really messy when you start painting with water. All right, so I'm gonna start doing this. Um, the color I chose is a color that is very popular in the fabric that people are choosing. It's very trendy right now. They're using, everybody's using burlap. So I've chosen the Dixie Belle burlap color. All you are going to do is simply let me turn this towards me start painting it on now remember I've already added the water to the paint you can do it this way I've done it before where I've taken my brush put in the water put in the paint and then put it on but you definitely want to use water because you want the paint to soak into the fabric Remember, you're not painting the fabric, you're gonna stain or dye the fabric. Look how easy this is. I'm not sure how that's showing on the, but see how fast and easy that is? Don't mind if you get a little bit of paint over here on the wood. We're gonna paint that anyway, so it's okay. And we're just gonna keep on painting. You'll notice how, receptive the fabric is to the water and paint. Let me get a better angle. Can you see that? Okay. Now I choose to mix my paint and water because it's easier. Less mess, less steps. Instead of spray, 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 use paint. I just assume put it on there. Yes, it's a little bit messy. Just you put an apron on. Okay. Put this Let's get a close-up right here on the side here. See how easily this fabric is taking the paint and the water? This has, a, like I said, a slight nap to it. It's not regular fabric. It's more velvet. I will say the more thick uh, nap you have, the more water you want to use. Okay, you can see what kind of coverage that is. Look at that. That is just amazing. Yes, it does take a while to dry, but, oh, look at that, yay! Okay, so I'm not going to bore you with painting this whole chair because like in the picture I showed you, there were two chairs and guess what? Yes, I have one finished. Okay, so I'm gonna put this aside. Okay, right over here. I'm going to move this chair and then I'm going to show you what I did with the other chair. And the reason why I went ahead and did and prepped the other chair is because I want to be able to show you in one video how to start the chair and finish the chair. Last time I did this on a chair about a year ago, um, we had to break it into two videos, but I would rather just show you it all at one time. Okay, let me get that chair. Okay, ta-da, see how pretty it is? Okay, so this is painted with the burlap because that is the most trendy fabric right now to color, cover your chair in. Well, I skipped the step of stripping the old fabric off, having to go to the store, buy new fabric, and then putting it on, I simply just painted it or dyed the fabric. Okay, then I used white, but to my dismay, where is it? Ah. I started this project and the inevitable, I had bleed through. Oh, bleed through is awful. If you don't know what bleed through is, what it is is when you start painting a piece of furniture with like a light color, say white, all of a sudden the tan is from the wood or the, surf, the, the covering that was used to protect the furniture 
from the factory starts to bleed through and it'll brown it or make it red. Well, I wasn't expecting that, so I put the first coat of white on and I got the tannis. So I let the white coat dry and then I added a product by Dixie Belle, which is called Boss. Comes in white or clear. What this will do is it will stop the bleed through and it will stop the odor if say you have a piece of furniture that maybe smells like cigarette smoke or just old antique. This one didn't per se smell or anything like that. It just had the bleed through. So I had to regroup. I put two coats of the boss on and then another coat of white. And then now you can see how beautiful it is. You'll also notice that up here, this caning wicker stuff is not the easiest to paint. Um, I always, 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 always recommend dry brushing it. If you try to cover every little piece of the wicker, it can be uh, time consuming and <laughs> let's say, um, what's another word for that? It can be frustrating because there's inevitably there's always a little piece of brown sticking through. But if you just dry brush it, you'll have a little bit of the brown and it's perfect. Okay. So this is my chair. Now it's, I did this the other day, prepped ready for today, so I can show you how to finish it. <clears throat> I'm one of those people, I'm sorry, but when I go into a store or a friend's house that has painted their furniture, specifically fabric, I have to touch it. <laughs> Why? Because I just want to know. This is painted or dyed but it's scratchy it's not soft and it should be soft and today i'm going to show you how to make it soft i've already done it up here and it just feels so much nicer i'll try to be quiet so you can hear the difference soft not soft yeah okay before i show you these tricks though i want to just mention something to you all I'm very excited about this. I am starting a membership group called Painters Playground. It is going to be a group where people can come together, learn, talk, support, and just be together and talk everything painted furniture. Um, what I'm doing is I'm looking for a few founding members who want to help me get this started. It's going to be um, a monthly group, like I said, but the founding members are going to help me create it, make it, and turn it into what it's going to become. My vision for it is right now is to give you new, trendy, um, solid furniture painting techniques using paint, of course, but also not just paint, but other mediums, the decoupage papers, the de uh, wood you bend moldings, all that other kind of stuff. Also, I'll be offering uh, monthly mentoring where we can do one-on-ones or in group settings where we can talk. And if you want to show me a picture of what you have, I'll give you my brutal and honest opinion. Or if you have a piece of furniture and you want to know what do I do with this, I'll be happy to help you with that also. A couple other things uh, we'll be offering in this group will be um, bonuses. So I'll have guest painters and we will do live paintings together and i just have so many different ideas but i'm looking for a few founding members to help me get this group started now if you are interested please go to pb for picking boots pbvintage.com and you can get more information there but i'm so excited about it it's gonna be a great group and you're gonna be able to sign up starting may 21st and once uh, there's, I think we can sign up for four days and then we're going to close the doors and I'm going to focus just on my founding members and we're going to have a great time and they're going to learn so much information. This group can either stay just painting or it can turn into a business aspect of it. How do I get started? What do I need to do? How do I market? How do I do social media? I've been there, done that. I've been doing this one since 2011. I have a lot of good information, but I'm going to share with those who are part of my group. Anyway, that's enough about that. Let's get back to the chair. All right. So this one is painted. <laughs> hey, Amber, you tell me what's in my cup. <laughs> it is Tuesday. Mm. Okay. So it's feeling crunchy. 
paint is dry, what I need to do is I need to sand it. Yes, sand the paint on your fabric. Um, Dixie Belle carries these cute little uh, sanding pads. Or when I first started, before I started carrying Dixie Belle, they have Lowe's has these sanding blocks. Well, they don't last that long or when they get old. I simply take an old piece of, or old, a newer piece of sanding paper and I wrap it around and then I use that because for me, I really need to have something to grip when I'm sanding. I can't just use a, it just doesn't work for me. Tip, pro tip, pro tip, always sand in a circle. It'll look more natural. So let me give the chair a light sanding. Oops. So now I'm not sanding hard. I'm just giving a light sanding and already I can feel a nice smooth surface because if you paint your fabric and your chairs you know you're gonna have people come over and they're gonna say oh that's a great chair and of course you've got a rag you're gonna say yeah I painted that well of course they're gonna be like they're gonna feel it well if it feels hard and crusty they're gonna be like Ugh. but if it's soft they're gonna be like wow how did you do that okay so I'm just giving it a nice light scene. I'm not taking a lot of paint off. But I want to make sure that I get all my areas. And the best way to see where you have missed, simply take your hand and feel. There are a lot of questions coming in and I cannot see that far because I'm kind of blind. Even with my glasses, I can't see that far. I apologize. Any questions that you all ask, on these videos, I will be answering after the video is over. Maybe one of these days, I'll get a assistant in here. I know Anne's been offering. I might have to take her up on that or Liz. Okay, I did that one earlier because I wanted to test it out. Let me get this arm. Now you guys might ask, how many coats does it need? Well, when you're painting fabric, it depends on the color you're covering, the surface you're covering, and the look you're going for. Now, I just sanded this down, and I noticed that none of the paints really sh showed the color of the blue that was underneath, so I'm good to go. Now, if I felt there was a little bit of the blue showing through, I might go ahead and give it another coat, but I think it's fabulous. Now it is really, really smooth, so if anybody were to come over to my house, feel this chair they'd be like wow that's fabulous <laughs> okay now I know some of you are asking will the paint come off if somebody sits on the chair will it come off no it will not however we're still not done but before I share with you how to seal your chair I want to give you one more bit of information I'm really excited about this because um, this is going to involve my daughter who I've been trying to get with me to work with me forever. She's 17 and she would kill me if she knew I was telling you this right now. Anyway, we are starting a kids virtual painting party. She is going to be the leader on this. For the first couple weeks though, I'm going to be helping her. Uh, we're going to be assembling these kid paint kits. They will range between 10 to maybe $15. They're gonna be very affordable though you'll get Everything you need to do a paint project, paint, brushes, directions, the canvas, everything. That information will be coming out soon on our Facebook page. Um, I'm just so ecstatic because she has started working here with me here at the shop. And now she's going to be part of the shop by helping me with these classes. And so I know a lot of you parents at home are looking for things for your children to do. Well, we are going to be assembling kits start to finish directions we will have live paint parties via zoom maybe on facebook i'm not quite sure so the kid your kids will have everything they need they can sit down with us and we can all paint together and you can go have a 15 minute break <laughs> um anyway so that's exciting that information will be on our website shortly but it'll be also on our facebook page so watch for that my daughter rayleigh will be running that program but it's going to be awesome all right 
back to the chair. Okay, uh, you definitely want to seal this. Uh, you want to, generally people use wax to seal this. Let me grab my wax brush. These are the best wax brushes, these big round ones. We do carry them at the shop. Okay. Um, I have always been used to oil-based waxes based on the paints that I've always carried until I started carrying Dixie Bell. Dixie Bell is a water-based wax and um, it's a great product, but I'm going to defer to their Big Mama's Butter, which is their oil-based sealer. This is awesome for restoring old wood, putting over paint. I'm going to use it on the chair. So I'm gonna take my brush and I'm simply going to put it in here. They come in three different flavors. Unscented, Suzanne's Garden, which is very, very floral. If you love the smell of flowers, you'll like that one. And then there's Orange Grove, which is my favorite. However, I'm just simply using Unscented today. And I'm just going to put that right here in the fabric. This will not make the fabric crusty, hard. All it's simply doing is it's going to seal your paint into the chair. Awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on all the chair real quick. If you ever have an idea that you would like for me to use for a Technique Tuesday, please don't hesitate to DM me. Uh, let me know when you stop in the shop or if you're out of town, you know, comment on one of these videos. Also, if you know somebody that's going to be painting their fabric anytime soon or is interested in the topic, please share this video. If you happen to be catching this video on the replay, please just type in hashtag replay. I would love to know how many people see this on the replay. I know that 11 o'clock or 10 o'clock, depends, sometimes I change uh, times, it's not easy for everybody to make. So I know some people catch it definitely on the replay. So if you see it on the replay, if you could just hashtag that, that'd be great. Um, all right, so there's, see how easy that was? That was just one coat of Big Mama's Butter on the chair. It'll dry, and then this chair will be ready to go. One thing though, um, I'm going to just stress this chair. I didn't want to do that while this was wet or now that I have the Big Mama's Butter on there, because if I distress this, the little pieces of the white will get on there and then it'll just be one more step that I have to do to clean up. So when this is dry, I'm going to go ahead and distress the chair and then I will post a picture of both chairs as a final project on our Facebook page. Okay, so just to recap really quick, the order of Would You Bend is in stock. They are, were on pre-order on our Facebook or our website. You can go ahead and order on our Facebook, <laughs> sorry, on our website and we will arrange them for you. We can do curbside pickup. You can come inside and pick them up, whatever you want to do. Um, I have also ordered the re recycled treasures decoupage paper. The manufacturer had a little hiccup or has a little bit delayed because of the COVID. Supposedly they should be here by next week. Cannot wait to use those papers. Uh, if you haven't seen them, definitely check them out on our website, pbvintage.com. There's so many different things you can do with these papers. Painter's Playground. If you're interested in maybe becoming a member, we're going to have awesome information shared more than just the Technique Tuesday that I share with you on Tuesdays. Uh, painting with children coming soon. We're going to be doing virtual painting parties. We can also probably offer birthday parties. I know it's really tough right now to have a child that has a birthday and not being able to have a party, but maybe we could do virtual painting parties where everybody gets the same kit. We log into Zoom with the password so we're not hacked and we paint together, we talk together, and your kids can be together. Um, I know what it's like to have birthday parties in quarantine because yesterday my oldest was 24 and then on Mother's Day, my baby was 15. So anyway, um, thank you so much for tuning in and listening to me ramble. 
I really enjoy these days, Tuesdays. Um, just an update, the store is now open, for those of you that may not be aware. We are Tuesdays for high risk by appointment only. Call the shop, email us, we can set up appointments for you to come in solo. Uh, then we are open Wednesdays through Friday, 11 to three, and then Saturday, 10 to four. We also have our inventory page. We have a group on Facebook. It is called Pickin' Boots Vintage Fort Myers Inventory. If you're not a member yet, go there, click join, and you can see a lot of inventory. I apologize if you comment on something, it might be sold. It's really hard to try to keep up with everything that we've been selling, that we've been open. Thank you so much for everybody that's been coming in. The love of the community is just humbling. We have, um, we have a great clientele and we love all of you. Um, besides that, if you have any questions, email, step in the store, call us. You know how to get, get in touch with us. All right, y'all. Have a great day and thanks again for joining us. Okay, or, or me. <laughs>